Today is a really good day at Manchester Theatres because we are welcoming back award-winning actor Michael Dillon. Now, last year, Michael spent a chunk of time touring with the play The Time Machine, and we are thrilled that it is coming back because it is so popular and so fantastic. It's coming to the Keys Theatre at the Lowry from the 23rd of January. Get a ticket, that's all I can say. Now, Michael has been busy since we last chatted. He has been teaching um, acting classes at the Lyceum Theatre. He has been in a play, Class Act on Tour, with Traverse mm -hmm. Theatre. Um, he has been in a new show, Mrs Davis, and even found time to take Time Machine to London. Previously, he has toured with the National Theatre's production of One Man, Two Governors, been in Muppets Most Wanted, Outlander, and of course, his Best Actor award-winning performance in Wilf. So we are with one of the nicest, most hardworking people that there are out there. So thank you for joining us again today, Michael. Karen, I'm delighted to chat to you. And uh, yeah, you embarrassed me. I forgot I've, I've done so much this year. I've been quite lucky, actually. Yeah, but yeah. it's... Um, been a lovely busy year but um yeah thank you it's always great to chat to you and we cannot wait to be in Salford we just can't wait it's going to be amazing so it, it really is now last time we chatted um I hadn't seen the play so I asked you to kind of tell me about the story I've now seen the play but I'm still going to ask you to tell us about the story because I don't know how to say, I don't know how to describe it I really think, like, we've been doing it a while now. We did a tour last year, and then we did a London run just before Christmas, which is great, very exciting time. And we still go, how do we describe this show? But it's just, it's a mad two hours of the theatre. It's a great night out. It's essentially three actors, three good friends, who run a theatre company. And they originally set out to do The Importance of Being Earnest, but they discover some artefacts connected to somebody's great great grandfather father turns out it's hg wells so they decide to scrap the importance of being earnest do a production of the time machine and something goes catastrophically wrong <laughs> catastrophically wrong yeah you can cut that out um but something goes wrong and madness happens so it's it's we set out to do a version of the time machine, but we never really get there, no. you know? So I have to say it's very loosely based on the time machine. We have to stress that for people. But it's it's just a mad farce where chaos happens for two hours. And I mean, you came and saw it. You loved it. You really did, which is great. It's always hard when you do the interviews and people come along. And you're like, oh, they actually enjoyed it. It's good. Yeah. But it's. I just think it's a great show for everyone. Do you know, we've had people like... 13 plus coming, I think, and up to like people in their 80s and 90s. And everyone has a howl. There's so many bits in it that people have a laugh with. So it's good. Yeah, it's a great yeah, show. There's so uh, much. Yeah. There's so much. And I take it you're playing the same part, are you? Um, yes. Who's so, also called Michael? <laughs> yeah, also called Michael. It's really handy in rehearsal, especially when you don't know other <laughs> actors. And so I'm Michael and I'm playing Michael and I'm working with Amy Ravel, who you would have seen in yes. it as well. Amy plays Amy. And the only thing that's changed is we now have a new actor playing the part of Dave so Dave was playing Dave but now it's George Kemp is playing George so yeah we thought we'd just keep it simple and keep our real names in it you know <laughs> we've enough to remember but George is amazing so what we're doing at the moment is we're just re-rehearsing the play with George in it yeah. and letting him find his groove we're doing it in a week and where are we now it's Wednesday day three and he's smashing it like he's he's come off book ready to go because he knows how full-on and chaotic the yeah. show is so he knew he had to be ready with the lines but he's brilliant we're having such a fun time it's great and you I mean we've said that there's three people in it and obviously it's George Amy and Michael it's not quite true is it because between you you play so many characters I mean we've got Cher we've got yeah. like more we've got tell us about some of the different characters that appear Okay, so we do play a lot, actually. It's my, You're just reminding me what I need to do after lunch, actually. <laughs> but yeah, Amy plays Cher. Um, we go into some Victorian parlour scenes where we play characters from the book, The Time Machine. So there's Philby, there's Mary. I play a thing called a Morlock. If you want to know what a Morlock is, you're going to have to come to the show. Um <laughs> There's so many different parts that we play in this. Um, and it's just, it is madness. It is swapping hats and wigs and costumes and props. And it's just total chaos. But it's so much fun. It really yeah. is a lot of fun. And it's actually a dream to play. Like, the reason I keep coming back to it is because 
the play is amazing. Like Stephen Canny and John Nicholson have yeah. written an amazing play for actors to really showcase themselves and have a laugh. They want the audience to have a laugh. And what we've realized is playing so many things, it can be a bit overwhelming, but we have so much fun doing it. And I think it comes across, you know, I think that's why the show is so good. So, yeah, so we play a lot. But there's share, there's monsters, there's there's everything. I mean, we've thrown the kitchen sink at this. So if you come and you don't enjoy it, then I'd yeah. question your taste. Do you know? Yeah, go, go and look at yourself. Yeah. Yeah, uh, exactly. I mean, you, like you've said, you, you you do come back to this. Is it a no brainer? Was it was it always going to tour again, or was it kind of did you get that phone call and you were like, oh, I'm in? Well, we got the call. I mean, there was at the end of the last tour, it did so well. I think audiences really wanted, like we've had loads of people come and see it a second and third time, which is rare, I think. You know, I've never really gone to see anything unless I've really loved it again. But we've had audience members coming back, so there was demand for it. So they asked us to do the London run. We were at the Park Theatre and that went really well. And I think it was one of their best selling, like, December Christmassy shows as well um, and considering it's nothing to do with Christmas and it's not a pantomime it was really great to just have sold out audiences there and then the tour came along and I was like absolutely you know, it's just it's it's a real honour to be in it because it's just so much fun do you know sometimes I have to kind of go we're getting paid for this do you know what I mean so it's, it's great and comedy is my first love like I just love doing a comedy and when you bring it to a fresh audiences um it's just so exciting and especially going to the north of England I just love it I cannot wait to go to the Lowry I just can't so yeah, yeah. It, it's great. a great space it's a great space mm -hmm. and and I guess as well for for all of you it's one of the things I kind of thought watching it was expect the unexpected so you can never really kind of get bored as a performer either can you because no. you know you go in from like you say from time machine time travel sorry to paradoxes to uh, you know all of these crazy yeah. elements does it ever kind of I mean I know you've got your script but because mm -hmm. there's an improvisation element to it as well does it ever really settle or does it kind of evolve and it doesn't settle because it can't I mean yeah. act two as you know is crazy it's without giving too much weight there is we do break the fourth wall a little, <laughs> you know, and there's improvisation and a little bit of audience participation, little, sometimes a lot. So we don't, we never know what's coming back at us. So we have to be ready. And it really is a play where we have to be listening the whole time. And you just can't take your foot off the gas. You know, you just got to be ready for anything because we've had so many different things. I mean, the show is loosely about the time machine and time travel. In London, we had people putting up their hands saying that they were quantum physicists. And so, and quoting what was about to happen before we'd even said it. It was just like mind blowing. It was crazy. Uh -huh. And people dive in. I think it's the kind of show as well, as I said, that has so much in it. So many people get people uh, get things, different things out of different parts that we just have to be on the ball and ready to go. You know, if you're going to break that fourth wall, and include the audience, you got to be ready for what comes yeah. back at you, you know? So it's it's so exciting. So no, we can't settle, we can't rest. That's why we're a bag of nerves. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one of the things that keeps it alive, I think. And yeah. and one of one of the things that shone through that I just loved was the, the clear trust that not only as actors you have with each other, but with the creative team, um, yeah. and that you place in us as an audience as well. But I think you've got to take that as credit for yourselves because the reason oh. that we're that you're able to trust us is because the atmosphere created makes us feel very safe to be able oh. to join in and do the things that you want. Um, is that That's... something that you're kind of aware of? Or? It is, and I'll tell you why, because it's so lovely to hear that. So thank you. That means a lot because it's not the kind of show where we talk to the audience and kind of bully them and mock them. It's yeah. not that. It's <laughs> The audience really is the fourth character for us. Um, and without them, this show doesn't work. It's the most live play I've ever done. And that might sound a bit crazy, but it's sometimes it feels like a bit of a rock concert because, as I say, you never know what you're going to get back. But I think the audience usually falls in love with the characters quite early on george amy and michael um whether you like the actors or not we don't care but the characters <laughs> and and they want them to succeed they want them to put on their production and for it to go well but it's you know it all falls apart so they trust us and then we trust them and we have we have just a lovely 
live time in the theater you know it's like we're all in it together and i think that's what it's about you know and and there's life life and death stakes in the play as well as you know that that's what's driving it and friendship drives it like yeah. steve and john have written a play ultimately about friendship it's three friends who happen to be actors who care about each other and i think the audience care and then we all just go on this roller coaster ride for two hours it's yeah. great you know yeah, so, I was yeah. Gonna say, there is in the, in the midst of all this brilliant bonkers madcap fun there really is this sense of friendship and and loyalty and strength in adversity really isn't there yeah. for, for yeah. what your character goes through yeah it is it's it's a very you don't want to be the actor who says it's a very hard part, but it's it's exhausting. It's like every night to do what I do without giving too much away. You you do go on a journey. I think we all go on our own little journeys. But we're on different energies, different tempos the whole time. And it's just about reminding yourself that it's it is about life and death and it's about friendship and who you have in your life and who cares about you. And, and it's it's a play about care and friendship, you know, and our director, Orla O'Loughlin, is just amazing because she lets us be so free because we have to be with the audience participation but it's, she always reminds us about the truth and the heart of it and the heart is these three people care about each other so that's what we go back to when we're dripping in sweat and <laughs> dressed up as Morlocks and Cher and yeah so yeah it's all about the heart and, story. And, and in the middle of all of this you then pull out of the bag a soliloquy from Hamlet and <laughs> It is jaw droppingly good. And you're not gonna oh. like me to say this because I know you embarrass easy, but it, it becomes clear why you are an award winning actor. It is phenomenal. Oh. I mean, is it great to have as an actor to have that in the middle of all of the comedy and just show everything that you can do? Um Karen, that is you're so lovely. Thank you so much. That's what very nice. I, I I'm for uh, yeah kind of embarrassed but like I, I really take it on board it's so nice and as I say like they've written a play that get, lets us all showcase ourselves really well like it's an actor's dream I'm really honored to be part of it you know and the fact original have put this on is, is it's just amazing we're having the best time with regards to the monologue part it's an honor to do the soliloquy you know and it's not just a piece of Shakespeare for for theater's sake it, it works so well at that point in the in the story as well because again going back to life and death and all the everything in between it's very hard I still get nervous every night because you're doing Shakespeare but it's also because we've had this mad crazy journey and then we suddenly stop and do a soliloquy and I am still shocked that an audience gets so moved by it I suppose because I don't always trust myself. You know, we don't want to bore the audience, but the my note is always just take your time in it, you know, because the audience do go with it and they breathe. And often people are like, wow, you know, it, it just lets the penny drop for people in their lives. You can feel people going, OK, that speech. When I first read it, I was like, Shakespeare on page 78 of this farce but it, it, it works beautifully. It really so thank does. you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank yeah, you. no, it does. It, and you can... You can hear the pin drops. Um, you can, you can, you just, you feel it. You feel oh. it. It goes beyond. Yeah, you can feel it. It, it is so powerful. Um, now, Thank you. you are one of the hardest working casts. I mean, <laughs> you've got, you know, you've got these. I don't even know where to start. I mean, you've got to learn so much. You've got to be aware of scenery because, yeah. you know, if you don't, if you're not, you could get injured. Um, yeah. Leave it at that. You've got to not only learn your lines, but you've then got to learn all your lines out of sync for a whole section. And um, we've mentioned Hamlet. You've even got to learn how to Irish dance. I mean, yeah. it, is, it is full on the stamina <laughs> involved. I mean, what's been one of the hardest things for you to kind of master with all of with with this? With all of it, I think it's the I think it's the energy of the show. You've to you've to pitch it quite right because you can't put your foot on the pedal too early because you know what happens in act two. That just needs all the energy. So it's it's just about pacing yourself. But it is really also about not taking your foot off the gas too much because it has to motor along. I, what we what we me and Amy have decided, it's kind of like a gym worker, right? Before you do the time machine every night, you can't think about it. You just got to get into the gym, start your workout, get on that treadmill and go for it. And we do, you know, if you think about it too much, you'll go, no, I'll just, I'll just have some crisps instead. So you have to, it's like, it's like a really intense hit workout for two hours, you know? So, and you just reminded me, I have to go do Irish dancing in a minute. So yeah, that's the thing. As we you have do. To teach, 
<laughs> we have to teach George the dance this afternoon. So that's the mission, yeah. Without giving too much away. Yeah, yeah there's dancing, there's singing, there's monsters, there's time travel. I mean, yeah. if people don't like it when it comes to the Lowry, then you have to they have to question themselves as you it say really it, you know? do. yeah um and before i let you go there's um in in the when i saw it there was like this long standing joke about getting brian cox in the play without giving too much away has it ever happened so no i th i think there's been tweets and little chats back and forth <laughs> But nothing ever happened. We still, he still kind of is, if you know what I mean. Yeah. People come and see it. Um, but no, he's never arrived yet. But we're going up north. Anything can happen with the magic of the north. So let's you see what happens, know. you know. Because he's from going... nearby, isn't he? He's from near, is he from nearby? So, yeah. In... Somewhere nearish, yeah. Yeah, somewhere yeah. nearish, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah. you yeah. might just find random people in the audience with one of their masks on and... That, that might, be. I mean, you know, it's the kind of show that can take it. Anything yeah. goes. Do you know what I mean? So it's <laughs> it great. Does. Oh, Michael, thank you so, oh. so much for chatting with us. Honestly, I, I just, I can't wait. And anybody who, well, if anyone's seen it, I know they're going to come back. Um, if you haven't seen it, it is the best gift that you can give to yourself. It will make you laugh. It will make you cry. It'll make you laugh again. Um, and you'll just go away thinking, do you know what? Life isn't all that bad, is it? Let's just crack on with it. Um, exactly. It's it's at the Lowry, the Keys Theatre from the 23rd of January. Um, go along and see Michael, Amy and George. It is going to be spectacular. Thank you so, so oh. much. And I cannot wait. I can't wait, honestly. Karen, you're amazing. Thank you. It's always great to chat to you. You're Absolutely. so brilliant. Oh, bless you. We'll see you soon, Michael. Thank you ever you so soon. much. Thank you. Bye-bye. To the distant future, here I go. Get on gas! Let's do this!